Hello everybody, Almighty Zen Taco here. I apologize for being gone for like a month. I've been working on a game and it's done. It's finished. Here it is right here. So I figured I'd show you guys the game and um, kind of let you take you on a tour behind the scenes so you can all see what a complete um, Click Team Fusion game looks like, right? So uh, this game's for the Android. It's called Space Monkey. So I guess the first thing I'll do is show you what the game actually looks like when you're playing it. Keep in mind this is supposed to be on the phone, so and this is on the PC. That is my splash screen. I'm very proud of it. It's beautiful. Uh, what we have here is my start screen. Someone told me it's kind of ugly. I think it looks. I think the space monkeys looks good, but I I do agree that like the the buttons probably the text is a little weird. Um, got a how to play here. Tells you how to play. I put in my credits. Um, this is actually really simple. All I did is I have uh, one solid picture for the credits, which I designed in Inkscape. I designed all my art in Inkscape. And that just slowly scrolls up, whereas that banana is uh, slowly rotating and moving left. I'll explain how to do that either uh, in this video or maybe in some other one, because it's rotating less than one per frame, which is really easy to do. Okay, let's get to it. Um, since I've already played this game, yeah, and my save, I have a save file going on. Um, there isn't any text. Usually there's like introductory text. There's a, a monkey journal. Okay, so you can click um, here and remove ads. There are no ads on this version because it's PC, so it won't work with the ads. But if you click here, it takes you to an ad screen. You can click yes to remove ads for a dollar. Or no to skip that. Go back to the main menu. Uh, we got upgrades. different things when you click on them it tells you the price everything costs both gems and gold or coins my rocket says suck it I don't know if it's got an everyone rating I don't think I, I didn't mention my rocket says suck it I can't imagine that's gonna be a big deal all right uh, cosmetics I put in a cosmetic store you can click on things buy them and equip them and unequip them I really like my plague mask and like these old school uh, comedy glasses, they're pretty cool. That's just a way to bleed off fun so that people will play more. <laughs> There's a doomsday cannon. That's how you win the game. What you got to do is um, collect these gems. If you get four of them, then you can kill the bad guys. All right. Oh, and transmutation. You can tran. You can. Uh, oh, I got enough to show you. You can turn gold to gems or gems to gold. So you can convert 200 gold or 200 coins to 10 gems or 50 gems to 500 coins. Um, so since we have 50 gems, let's try that. Let's add, so let's turn the gems to coins. Boom. 500 coins added. We lost our 50 gems. All right, here's the game. You click on the go button to start. Now this game really is just an endless runner um, with a monkey. So you got rockets on the left and you're trying to see how far you can get while collecting power-ups. Uh, yeah, so the the story is that your Chimtopia, that's your planet, was attacked by the Oceanics, which are these, uh, they're like, they're just sea creatures, honestly. Um, and that's, that's supposed to be Chimtopia back there. It's completely decimated. And so, uh, the Chimp people, they are on a space station, and they are rallying the troops to have a counterattack. That was, that was some squish. Um... So yeah, you, you dodge these asteroids, <clears throat> and whenever you, you can buy upgrades to get more uh, or more rockets uh, to shoot the asteroids, but if you ever run out or have less than your max, that's a banana, it'll give me health. <clears throat> if you have less than your max, then every now and then you get a, you get another rocket showing up on the screen to pick up. Like that. I wanted to keep people away from the edges of the screen so they couldn't kind of, you know, cheat. So if you stick around the edge of the screen too long, well... Oh wait, hold on. These asteroids have gems. You blow these up to get gems, which is one of the currencies you need. Anyway, if you stick around the edge of the screen, you get eaten by a shark. So you don't want to do that. And you can increase the time it takes for that shark to attack you by buying an upgrade called Shark Repellent. Um, ooh, I've gone a record distance of 83. You know what I'm going to do, guys, real quick? I'll show you how to do this. Um, let, me, let me die real quick. I'm going to reset this game. On the phone, you would just need to go into your app settings and, and delete all the, the, the junk and stuff uh, associated with it. For this, we're just going to 
go to app data. If you have any click team games of your own, this is how you've you get rid of them and we're gonna go to MMF applications I have an INI file called monkeys that's where I store everything we're gonna open that with notepad we're gonna reset the story state um, to zero so it's, it's back to zero actually let's just what am I doing I'm stupid sometimes I'm stupid we're just gonna delete it that's the easiest thing if it's gone it'll make a new one alright let's start from from scratch Uh, there's the chimp ca captain. Greetings, recruit. Pay attention. I'm only going to say this once, as I'm sure you are aware we are under attack. Chimptopia has been decimated by the evil Oceanics. We are mounting a defense from this space station. We have many facilities in this station. Feel free to look around, but make it quick. We need you out in the field. When you are ready, jump into one of the available dogfighting ships and get into the fray. And watch out for asteroids. They are all over the place. Good luck, recruit. Make me proud. <clears throat> so I'm kind of marking this game. It's kind of hard, but I'm, I'm trying to market it to you. I've had like my nephews play it and um, my little cousin, and they all seem to like it quite a bit. They play it on their on their little uh, tablet. It's only for Android. I'm the iPad. It's not out on the iPad yet. <clears throat> so far, I've had like 10 downloads, which is kind of sad. Uh, I don't know how to market this very well, so hopefully, I get more. If I get enough to pay <coughs> for the exporter for the iOS, um, or can maybe convince Click Team to give it to me if I put a splat splash screen up that says it was made with Fusion, then I will port this to the iOS. So all you people out there with an iPhone can check it out. I'm also porting this to HTML5, uh, just so I can drop it at a bunch of uh, indie game stores. Here, check this out. That's Maurice. He's a gorilla. He'll punch all the asteroids that are in your way. And, uh, yeah, that's me doing the voice work for Maurice. Going, Because, uh, I'm cheap and I wasn't going to pay some professional. Guy. Yeah, Maurice is a badass. Look at him go. Alright, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to port this sucker to HTML5, and I'm going to put this on a bunch of NG sites with uh, a link to the store, hoping, to the App Store, hoping that that means people will download it. Also, my buddy Space Lord, who is much more popular than I am, said he would do a video on it. So hopefully that gets me some people downloading it and playing it. Um, and different enemies spawn at different times. I'll show you what they all do. There's a bunch of different backgrounds too, the farther you get. Um, not different times. They spawn at different distances. If you look on the left, it says 19M. It's supposed to be like 20M. It's supposed to be 20 meters. I know we've probably traveled further than meters, but maybe it's miles, I don't know. You're in space, who cares? <clears throat> oh. Those guys are kind of annoying. I want to show you what these crabs do. They don't hurt you. What the crabs do is they will grab on to you and latch on to you and pull you down. Ah, oh, I missed the ball. Suck on my own game. I guess I'm probably going <coughs> to record, um, there they are, crabs. Yeah, they pull you down really fast. But you can you can either run into something to get rid of them, which if I did that now I would die because I only have one health left. Or you can shoot a, a missile. And then they die. On Android, every three times you die, there's an ad that gets played. I'm doing ads through something called Chart Boost, which makes makes ads for uh, other games, so all the ads are relevant to gamers, which I think is best. It's not going to like try to sell you tampons or something. Oh my god! Okay, this, I'm sorry. New record! When you get a new record, it multiplies your uh, coins by two. You get times two bonus. Tallies it up. Gives you your total top right. And from this screen, you can go directly to the upgrades, which is pretty easy. Um, we're going to add a rocket. 640. We don't have 600. So we're going to get max health. 530. I really like these little little buttons, whatever. I don't know what, uh, that indicate how how much you got. Who taught you to fly, recruit? You hit the first asteroid you encountered. He looks shocked. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were doing that on purpose. Don't forget to buy upgrades. We're going to need you in top form if we're going to win this war. 
So he just comes out every time you, you get back to the screen uh, and advance the story. He China kind of explains what's going on. Get your hands and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try to make it to uh, this. I got a. I put in a. Uh, what is it called? A lantern fish. He's this huge lantern fish that shoots a laser. He shoots a freaking laser off his freaking head. So we're gonna see if that. Uh, well, I think it's cool. We're gonna see if you guys think it's cool. It's my favorite thing in the game. I honestly feel like I probably should have had more enemies, but you know, if no one's gonna play the game, I might have just wasted a month. Oh well, that's life, right? Here comes Maurice. He only hits ten asteroids, so he just like blew his water. Uh, Maurice says like four different things when he comes in. So this is random. <laughs> That's my favorite frame. It's his little, his little gorilla uppercut. Dun, 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 dun. My buddy Ryan says that um, some of these asteroids look like cheese. He says he's not a fan. <clears throat> Upgrade wise, I would say the biggest ones you definitely want to get is health, uh, rockets. I'm just gonna hit this rocket. You still get stuff if you hit it. Health, uh, rockets, and probably at least one or two points in shark repellent so you can hang out at the bottom longer. Uh, the upgrades get more and more expensive every time you buy one. I think they double. Can't quite remember. Whoa. I'm going to make this a two-parter. First part's just going to be me showing the game. The second part will be what it looks like inside the code. That way you guys can just skip ahead. I realize this is kind of going on a bit long. Yeah, that was um, those. That's actually my favorite enemy right there. That is, that is the starfish. I think he's got a lot of character. These guys are annoying as heck. They kind of force you to the top. So that's why it's good to have shark repellent. My leg is falling asleep. All right, here's my banana. Yeah, that one. He thinks that one looks like cheese. That little brown thing. I think it's brown. I'm colorblind. There's another one. Okay, we're gonna take a hit, otherwise the shark's gonna eat me. Ow, my legs! <sighs> Ouch. Okay. Uh, the music is by Kevin MacLeod from Incompetech. That dude is awesome, and he gives it away for free. Um, also, on the other screens, the music, it's not really, I mean, it is music, but it's, it's, I got it from a loop site. I got, a shark. Uh, I, I got all of my loops from, uh, Looper, I think, is the name of it, or, or Free Loops or something? I don't remember the name. It's on the credit screen. Also, it's something called Free Sound FX or something like that. Uh, all right. Let me show you how... Oh, you sure did that. Watch your trajectory, space sharks j lurk just out of you. We're gonna transmute. I need more money. Oh, you can want. Uh oh, I clicked that. That's not supposed to be there. Oh yeah, it is. We're on the Android version. Okay. Um. Yeah, I messed that up. I clicked that. It's gonna. It's gonna do nothing. <laughs> that is the ad button. Uh, that shows up every once in a while, and it lets you watch an ad, and in return, you get 50 gems. But I just broke the game. Because this is not Android. But it saves your progress, so I might just call it here, honestly. Um, you know, I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna make a video, uh, like a little ad video to try to make people play this game. So maybe I can get a little money. Uh, so if you guys want to see more of it, go ahead and download it and play it yourselves or check out that ad. Um, this is the end of part one. I'm going to start part two where I show everyone exactly how the guts of this game works. Or at least a bit of it. I'm not going to go into too much detail. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope to catch you next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Adios!